Hey folks, have you ever had a stew made from walnut and pomegranate? This week we're making one of my favorite dishes called Fessenjun. Now there's a couple of steps that you might not be used to, so watch closely. We're gonna start by sprinkling some saffron over some ice cubes in a glass. If you're making a cooking show, make sure that you turn the camera on before you do stuff. Dump your walnut collection in your food processor. Grind the walnut down to dust. And then, with the blender running, add some water to create this light tan walnut paste. Toss your chicken into a large mixing bowl with some turmeric and shake it until it's evenly coated. Now, a classic Persian fesinjun recipe doesn't use garlic, so I'm only going to prepare a few cloves. And then dice your onion as usual. Melt some ghee or clarified butter in a large pan and toss in a stick of cinnamon to bloom. Add your garlic and onion and saute for a few minutes until golden brown. And then I'm gonna make a little pile in the center of the pot. Be prepared for the cinnamon stick to have a mind of its own. From here, spread your chicken out in an even layer and sear for a minute or two on each side. Add your walnut paste, some more water, and give everything a thorough stir. Leave to simmer for about an hour. When you come back, the walnut sauce should turn a darker brown and release some oil to the surface. Now, add your pomegranate syrup and half of your saffron bloom. Plus, any pepper and salt you'd like, and combine. Leave on a low simmer again for another hour. While you wait, don't forget to make your rice. Now, when you come back, you should have an aromatic dark brown sauce and tender chicken that falls off the bone. Divide about a third of your rice in a large bowl and add the rest of your saffron bloom. Gently fold the rice until you have an even gold color throughout. Dealer's choice, but I like to plate this by creating a wedge of saffron rice and framing it on either side with plain. You're free to create a swirl or just mix it all together. Add your drumstick, coat with sauce, and don't forget to garnish with fresh pomegranate seeds. And there you go, folks. A week's worth of delicious fest in June. Would your co-workers ask what that delicious smell is? Don't forget to tell them where you learned it. Otherwise, if there's any recipes that you want to see me try, or if you make this on your own, please leave a note in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I'll hope to see you next time.